In ancient Egypt, if a patient complained of not seeing well in the dark, the physician would prescribe liver of ox roasted and crushed. That's described in the famous Ebers Papyrus, dating back to about 1500 BCE. That treatment would have worked if the night blindness was due to a vitamin A deficiency, a real possibility on a poor diet. In 1912, Frederick Gowland Hopkins demonstrated that unknown accessory factors in milk, other than fats, proteins, and carbohydrates, were necessary for growth in rats. For this discovery of what turned out to be vitamins, he would be awarded the Nobel Prize in 1929. Just a year after Hopkins' discovery, Elmer McCallum isolated vitamin A, so-called because it was the first recognized vitamin. Uh, vitamins are substances that are vital to health but cannot be synthesized by the body and must be obtained from food. Vitamin A is only found in animal products, but the body can convert beta-carotene found in many plant products into vitamin A. In high doses, vitamin A is toxic and being fat-soluble can build up in the liver. Polar bear liver has an extremely high vitamin A content, and there are stories of Arctic explorers being poisoned by polar bear liver when they're forced to eat it after running out of food. One polar bear liver apparently uh, contains enough vitamin A to kill as many as 52 adults. It is not possible to overdose on beta-carotene because the body shuts off conversion into vitamin A if an excess is consumed. The most likely way to overdose on vitamin A is by taking high doses of supplements. Some people think that if a little vitamin is good, more is better. The real problem with vitamin A is not excess, but deficiency. About 140 million children in the world, mostly in Africa and India, are at risk of deficiency because of a poor diet, mostly made up of rice, which has very little beta-carotene. Up to half a million become blind every year and uh, half of them die within a year of losing their sight. There are programs to supply children with vitamin pills, which doesn't have to be done often since vitamin A is stored in the liver and takes a while to be depleted. However, many children at risk live in areas where supplementation is not viable. But there's another possibility. Golden rice is genetically engineered to contain beta-carotene and could be of great benefit in areas where the diet is mostly based on rice. After many years of trials and roadblocks by anti-GMO activists, golden rice was finally approved for planting in the Philippines in 2021. However, due to opposition by Greenpeace, the farmers, who worried that GMO rice would intermingle with their traditional grown rice and prevent a non-GMO claim, partnered with Greenpeace. And uh, basically, this resulted in a high court uh, blocking the planting of golden rice. The government is set to appeal this decision. Eating liver, a la the ancient Egyptian recommendation, is not an option in regions where vitamin A deficiency is rampant. The Egyptians did get the roasted liver idea right, but on the other hand, the recommendation to cure blindness was to pour a mixture of pig's eyes, antimony, red ochre, and honey into the patient's ear. That didn't work. Made them blind and deaf. That for today is our cup of joe.